here with head coach John Cooper uh, after a 68-66 loss to Delaware. Coach, your opening statement. Well, I can say this. I'm tired of losing by two points, so I'll start there. But, um, you know, I thought um, Delaware, they presented some challenges for us. They were able to get into the lane too much off the bounce, and that really, really broke us down. Um, during the course of the game, we were never really able to get them under control um, in those instances. And then, of course, I thought we were out of sorts there in the first half, um, particularly for most of that half. We just didn't seem to get settled. Um, you know, Michael looked like a freshman there for quite a few plays there in the first half and just, you know, getting so deep and, and you know, just having to learn and, and, and what it takes and, and, and the time and understanding, you know, when the game, what point of the game it is. Um, having said that, he also makes some plays there um, late in the game and down the stretch um, that keep us in the that keep us in the game. Um, you know, we we just hung around, hung around. We fight back. We get there within three. We want we run a set play that works to perfection, and Rod knocks it in. Couldn't ask for more. And then that's where you know you you've got to have your wits about you. And, and unfortunately for us, you know, it, there's some guys that hadn't been there. And saying that, and and we got, we just didn't get picked up correctly. Um, uh, their kid gets a chance to line up a three, and he knocks it down. So you, you know, you credit them. Um, but then too, there at the end, we don't do a terrific job there towards the very end when they're shooting free throws, of boxing out, and getting a clean rebound, and at least giving yourself an opportunity um, to get the shot up. And and that's one of those little things that you harp on and harp on. And unfortunately, sometimes you know you, you learn the hard way. Um, having said this, having said that, it's certainly disappointing um, to lose the game. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I, I, we just we just weren't quite where we needed to be um, tonight. I didn't think, and I'll watch it on tape um, to pull that one out. All right. Questions. <laughs> First half, uh, there was a stretch there. I mean, you know, they were making some shots at the beginning, and then it went pretty cold for a while there. A number of the shots. Them or us, I'm sorry. Say what? Was it them or us? Who are you talking yeah, about? Uh, us. Okay, sorry. Uh, so they were hitting some a little early, and then it went cold for a while. I noticed that a lot of them were, seemed to be coming up short. Do you, they're a young team. Do you think nerves could still be a play a little bit starting out? No. I, I mean, I don't think it was that. I. I you know, we there were times when we just weren't settled. I mean, we really – we did not get settled. Um, we broke – we had a stretch, again, where we broke down um, in our execution. And, you know, it cost us again. Um, it happened um, there at Wright State um, also. But, you know, and, and I think part of it even for Michael is, you know, he's learning on the job. But – just trying to always maintain your composure and not letting the previous play affect the next play. Um, having said all that, I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't trade Michael. I wouldn't trade Darius. I wouldn't trade Marcus. I wouldn't trade any of those freshmen. Uh, they're, they're, if they'll work, you know, and, they're, and this is where we are because they're having to learn and play out there. But, um, I mean, in my opinion, there's no doubt that there's some ability there. On the play uh, near the end where there, I guess it was a technical that was called for trying to call a timeout or something, uh, two things struck me about that. Uh, one, it seemed to be a hustle play to get the ball in the first place. Mm -hmm. and two, uh, maybe a sign of the, the youth on yeah. the team and not so much experience. What occurs to you with this? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, one of the main things that we said in the timeout over and over again is that we had no timeouts, you know. But having said that, here here's the other other side of that, and this, this is part of experience. And I talked about it with the team in the locker room. At that time, when that timeout was called, we had the possession arrow. So no matter what happens, if they tie up the ball, it's still our ball. And that's part of saying we say that and knowing that and understanding it. Now, uh, Marcus makes a terrific play to deflect it in a hustle play. And unfortunately for him, 
he signals for timeout. I don't think he even actually called it. I didn't hear him yell it, but I mean, he signaled, and that's fine. It was a good job by the official, and I, and the official didn't want to call it. You know, you could see it, but he called for it. Um, you know, you know, that's not how you want to learn. Um, but but I'll tell you this: as you get into practice and you talk about that situation again and understanding those points in the game and those keys. Um, it's going to ring home a lot more, you know, but that's also part of um, being alert and, you know, he called it. And so, um, heck, you know, we we about to overcome it, you know, quite frankly, you know, we still in the midst of all that, they still continue to um, compete. And I don't remember what the score, they hit a free throw and I can't remember exactly what happened on the next play. I can't remember if that's when Rod tied or that was before. It may have been, I can't remember now. That's a lot of that happened quick, but you know, it's youth. Yeah, that's all. It's youth, and and you know what? You hope that this that happens now is settled here in this third game in November, and the lessons learned, and we don't have that situation again. Questions? Any, anything Coach, else? Coach, um, with obviously with two more games to go, how do you rebound? Make sure that they're ready to go tomorrow. Well, you have to rebound. <laughs> you know, um, Austin P is going to be um, excited. Um, they were on the map, boy. I think when I last I saw at one point they were 16 down, and they end up winning the game. And so, um, but this will be an interesting test for um, the young kids. You know, I feel like crap right now, and I got to go sit and watch it. Um, the good thing is, is that I got to also watch Austin P. Um, sometimes for the young kids, ignorance is bliss. You know, and they'll they'll get over it a lot better tonight than probably I will. Um, good thing that I'm not a person that's a real drinker, <laughs> uh, because that's just how I feel. But you know, I've got to I've got to go back to work tonight, and I've got to get um, make sure that the team is ready um, and prepared uh, for tomorrow. Because you don't, I told him in the locker room when I left, you don't want to lose another game because of one game. You can't afford to have the hangover. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All right, uh, questions for Michael. We've got the microphone here as well. That would have been a heck of an ending, wouldn't it? Yeah, too bad it didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, there was a stretch during the first half where the shots didn't just didn't seem to be falling, you know, as for everybody in, mm -hmm. in general and everything. And, and yet you guys uh, seem to, you know, hang in there, uh, uh, you know, and not let them get all that far away. What was the, what was the sense when the shots weren't falling? Uh, our sense was just, just stay aggressive. Coach kept telling us shots will fall sooner or later, but as long as we stayed aggressive, they'll come to us. But uh, uh, going into the second half, uh, we just decided to play hard, play with energy, because we don't do that during the first half. We always come out flat during the first half. So we picked our energy up in the second half and just it became a ball game like that. Uh, there was, uh, during the second half, uh, noticed some times there when they were uh, making some pretty good drives to the basket. Uh, was there anything in particular uh, about their game or what they were doing at the, you know, down the stretch the, in the second half as far as uh, them being able to penetrate? Uh, I don't think they did anything special. I think they just beat us off the bounce. Uh, we got to learn how to defend the uh, defend off the bounce, move our feet and without our hands because they call those fouls more now. Uh, but <laughs> if we if we just stay sound defensively, then I think we can get uh, consecutive stops and and just start turning it into a ball game. Four block shots, that's, that's pretty good for somebody that uh, plays a point. Is that uh, a part of your game that uh, people can expect to see more of, maybe? Uh, as soon as now, as of now, the coaches told me I got to start taking charges. Uh, if I block another shot, I have to start running. So <laughs> as of now, you'll start seeing charges. Maybe not, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Especially if fouls end up being the, the result. Yeah. All right. Michael, I think we're good. Thank you.